This is likely going to be the fastest slash easiest way of getting rich. Duplicating diamonds and finding your first diamond can be a bit of a challenge, but not really. So from the lookout landing Skyview Tower at the near beginning of the game, we're actually going to fly over uh, to the observation room underneath of Hyrule. You know, some other big YouTubers fail to mention that. So we're actually going to go right here. Okay. Let's just get into it. You may need a little bit of extra stamina. Not too, too sure. I'd probably make something really quick just to be on the safe side. So as you jump up, start turning to the right a little wee bit. And you want to start heading towards Hyrule Castle. It helps if I actually had my glider there. So again, we're not literally going to the castle, but we're going pretty close to it. Depending on if it's foggy, you'll see, you know, like the bridge there up ahead. And if you can kind of look in the distance, we're actually going to go in here. You see that there? That's where we're actually going. Now I only have one extra stamina wheel boost, so... Yeah, you're probably going to need, like, at least one food. And then you just drop down in here. Okay? But to make sure that I didn't lose you, because I don't like rushing like some people do, we just kind of take our time. This is where we're at. Let's take a look at our map again. Okay? This is not right at Hyrule Castle. This is right here. There's like a little ledge. You can land on it if you want, then just jump off the ledge. Okay? Like right up there. If you want to land up there, that's fine. So you come in here. Everything's safe. There's a guard here. He just talks. Go ahead and remove this. Or not so much remove it, but open it. Plop down. And I know that it's not there now. But there's a chest here. And when you loot it, there is a diamond. It's as simple as that. I have no reasons whatsoever to make this shit up. If you don't believe me, you can watch. I think it's IGN that actually originally made the video on this. So there is a chest there. And you can leave a comment down below in the section to confirm that there actually was a diamond there. And then from here, we do that whole thing where you equip your bow. This goes back to my materials glitch thing, but I'll just recover it here. Uh, the other thing I want to show you is the version of the game that we're running on, 1.1.1. So that latest update that we just got on May the 19th, which was just yesterday, I want to show you. I had two diamonds there. Now one is equipped uh, on my bow. Okay. We do that whole thing super quick like that. Doesn't always work. But you see, now I've got three diamonds. Drop that equipped bow with the diamond. Equip another one. Bang, bang. Start, start. Unpause, pause. Whatever you want to call it. Boom, boom. Now go to that equipped bow that you just had. You'll see there's a diamond on it. That doesn't necessarily mean that it worked. And then when you drop it and you back out, Pick up both stuff. Oh, see? It didn't work that time. That can happen. Okay, there you go. Four. So on and so forth. They sell for 500 rupees each. Now, in Breath of the Wild, I th think it was, there was somebody that would buy them for 550. I think. And again, talking... All this kind of stuff. Sometimes it kind of, you know, there we go. But at least you see that it's working. And under five minutes, hopefully this video wasn't too long. But I felt it was important to take my time. You can also drop a diamond on the ground. You can equip it to a weapon. It'll uh, greatly increase its durability. 
You can even equip it to a shield, as you can see here. Uh, you can go ahead and do that if you want to. But yeah, so now again, I'm going to fly off of the balcony to kind of show you, you know, like where it is from back over here. You see it? It's up there. So when you come in, you know, from the gates there, just so you can get your bearings properly through that gate, it is just up there. I mean, for all I know, you could just land here and climb up whatever. Right? Right in there. On that balcony. And again, you can land on here and then just simply drop off. There's also uh, a Korok seat over there. As always, if you liked the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with that algorithm. And making me a little bit more relevant in the search results and people are looking shit up. If you didn't like the video, well, that's too bad. Go ahead, give it a thumbs down. I'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that would be fantastic. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.